What's up, my G? Yeah, let's go together. We're going to look at everything about your Alkin series. So it's a brand new series, and you're going to go with me as you look at it from beginning to the end. And under Alkins, let's start with the first class, that is Introduction to Alkins. What is it about the Introduction to Alkins? What should I know? This is our lesson number 25. Ah, <laughs> lovely. Yeah, let's go. The first thing you're going to know about Alkins is that Alkins are also called only things. We have established that alkenes or paraffins. Alkenes or only things. I told you that alkenes, the ones with single bonds, they are called your words, your paraffins. And we said that the word paraffins is gotten from the word parum affinis. And it means what? Little affinity. Okay, what about your only things? Which are your alkenes? Don't forget that only things. They are also derived from Greek words. And the Greek words that we obtain only face from is called oleum few. What is it called? Oleum. And then few. Oleum few. Oleum few means I become oil. What does it mean? It means I become oil. The reason why we call them um, oleum few or only face is that back then organic chemists, they believed that any reaction that alkanes undergo, we always produce oily substance at the end of the day. So they give rise to oily secretions majorly. But as you move, you are going to see whether it's really correct or not. But don't forget this, that alkanes, which are the oily things, they have oily what nature. Because of their oily nature, that's how we call them your oil fume, which means I become what oil. Does it make sense? If you get this very fast, how do you define your alkanes? Very simple. Hold on a bit. The complete series of classes, right, as far as your Syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move, let's get back to class. Enjoy. Tell us that alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Hold on. Are they aromatic or they are aliphatic? Of course, they are aliphatic hydrocarbons. So we can say alkenes are unsaturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. Why are they so? Because they contain less than the maximum number of hydrogen atoms, right? That they should actually contain. If you watch, for example, let's say I'm looking at my sink, um, carbon to carbon, right? Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Here is hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. You know, this guy here is called your what? Your ethane, right? Oh, yes. Now, this carbon here is surrounded by one, two, three, four. Four bonds altogether is what surround the carbon there. Okay. Now, if four bonds is what I have that surround this carbon here, if you come to your carbon to your more like double bond to carbon now to hydrogen here to hydrogen here you see there's supposed to be another hydrogen here at this top but this hydrogen is not so right because here is already one two right and then here is three and then what four of course i'll just add hydrogen here and then what hydrogen here so we call them alkenes which are the unsaturated hydrocarbons why because they contain less than the maximum number of what hydrogen atoms that they should actually contain compared to your what your alkanes. That's why I said that alkanes are saturated. They contain maximum number of what hydrogen. Alkanes are unsaturated. Why they contain less than the maximum number of hydrogen that they should what contain. If you get that very fast. The quick question is: What are the characteristics of alkanes? So when it comes to creating an account, right? This is the interface of the app that you can see. You can see create account and you can also see login. Now, what you do is this. As a new user, I don't have an account yet. So you don't need to go and log in. You go and create an account as a new user. Click on that create account button. Once you click, click on it, the next thing is put your phone number. Place in your phone number. You can see plus two, three, four. Then put your phone number, whatever your phone number is. If you don't have phone, you can use your mommy's phone number and put it there. Right? Or your daddy's phone number. Use it and then you can proceed and create the account. So let's go. So once you create the account, you are putting your phone number. What happened? Put your name, your correct phone number, please. Put your name, 
if your name is um, John, what do you fill in there? John. And then your last name, Frank. Fill in John Frank. And what's your email address? Okay, if your email address is um, John Frank, John Frank 3 at gmail.com, you fill it there. And then your password, very important. You create your own password, six digits. You can use your phone number, the first six digits of your phone number, or the last six digits of your phone number. Or you can, okay, since the, um, um, your name is John Frank, you can say, okay, well, my um, password name is John, right? John 1, 2, 3. And then you go and repeat the same thing. Confirm password. What will you type here? Your John words. 1, 2, 3. You can decide to view it to yes or and then see whether you are doing the same thing, whether what you are doing is correct, right? All you have to do is just click the I button there and then you view it. And then come to select education. You are preparing for JAM or YEC. In select education, there are four plans there. University, that's for people that are in university. Probably 100 level, 200 level, right? Yes, their classes are also there. Secondary, for those in secondary school, primary. But for JAM and YEC, ah, ah, baba, click YEC, JAM Pursuit TME, right? As the select education. Select level. You are not ready for Pursuit TME, you are preparing for JAM and YEC, right? Okay, click on the word JAM and what YEC. And then create your account. Two seconds. Plus, you don't enter. It will load and then it will open for you. And it will tell you, welcome, John. Right? Your classes are now what? Ready. What do you do? Start learning. So what are the characteristics of Alkins? That's what Jam and Wai are going to play with for you. Under the characteristics of Alkins, first and foremost, there are a couple of them. Number one. Alkanes are unsaturated aliphatic hydrocarbon. That one, we've already de dealt with that, right? Beautiful. Number two, alkanes have sp2 hybridization. Are they sp3 hybridized or sp2 hybridized? They are sp2 hybridized. And I told you that, okay, if you are sp2 hybridized, like your alkanes, right? What should be their shape? Of course, they are trigonal planar. If they are trigonal planar, what is their bond angle? Their bond angle is what? 120 degrees. Sure, you remember all those things. Uh -huh. And aside that, what is the percentage of S character in your SP2? S is what? 33.33%, right? What about the percentage of P character? It is 66.33% or 67%. What percent. I've explained all of this in the previous classes. If you get that very fast, another sweet thing about your alkanes double bond is that they contain both your sigma bond and your what's your pi bond. Sigma bond is there, pi bond is there. I told you that anyway, you, you have double bond. One of them is a sigma bond, the other one is what pi bond. That's what you have there. And sigma bonds and pi bonds, one is stronger than the other. Sigma bond is stronger than what pi bond. Number four, very quickly, they undergo additional reaction. This is where a lot of people we have problem with me. And case single bond, they undergo what substitution reaction. Alkanes, double bond, alkynes, triple bond, they undergo addition reaction. So double and triple bonds undergo addition words reaction. Does it make sense? If you get that very fast, another character you don't play with is the abundant. What is it? 120 words degrees. We have established that. And don't forget very fast that their shape is that they are trigonal planar in shape. Or their structure is what? Trigonal planar. Number seven, their general formula is what? CNH2N. That's a general formula for your alkanes single bond it is your cnh2n plus two for your double bond is cnh2n for your triple bond cnh2n minus what two this is exactly what we have and then number eight don't forget that they have double bond double bond now come with me your alkanes what's their functional group for alkanes is alkanes does not have functional group Alkanes are functional group, and what's their functional group? It is that double bond that is their functional group. That double bond is what determines their reactivity. That double bond is what determines their chemical properties. So chemical properties is determined by what functional group? That's why I say functional group can be defined as an atom, a group of atom, an ion, a radical, a molecule, or a bond that differentiates the members of a particular homologous series from all others in terms of two things: their preparation. And physical chemical words properties. Does it make sense? I've treated these things, guys. If you get that very fast, another interesting thing you must know is this the double bond in your alkanes. What is it? It is their functional group. 
That double bond that is their functional group is what determines their chemical behavior. What determines chemical behavior functional group? So what is the functional group in your alkenes double bond? And don't forget this with me, that alkenes and alkynes, the two of them, they are much more reactive than their corresponding alkenes. What do we mean by that? It's just like, for example, you say your ethane. Now, ethane, you say your ethane, ethane, you say your ethane, ethane. These three of them. Which one is much more reactive? The most reactive is the triple bond, ethane. So ethane, they are highly reactive, more than your ethane. The one that is non-reactive <laughs> is your what? Your ethane. Does it make sense? So if they ask you to arrange them anyhow, you know what to do. In terms of reactivity, ethane is the most reactive, followed by ethane. The least reactive is your what? Your ethane. If you get that very fast with me, don't forget. <laughs> Now that you have created your accounts, right, for you to start learning, what do you do? Okay, you can see that your use of English is there, mathematics is there, biology is there, physics is there, chemistry is there. Your classes are organized, they are all there for you, right? What do you do? Okay, um, I want to start learning biology. So click on the biology, immediately you click on it, living organisms, that's chapter one, right? Oh yes, that's strictly to your jam syllabus. And what happened? Let's say, for example... Um, you want to watch your class on cell and probably cell structure, right? What happens is that you click on it. Immediately you click on it, you see all the classes will display. History of cell, types of cell, cell organness, and all of that. Okay, sir. I want to watch history of cells. You click on the history of cell immediately. Hello, your class will start playing for you. It's easy and not. It will start playing for you easy and direct. And what happened? You can even choose to make it full screen. Right, make it full screen. What happens? You are not learning, and you are enjoying your classes. In fact, you may choose to say, Okay, I want to download my classes. In fact, you can fast forward, you can take it backwards, you can pause, you can rewind. Anyone you want to do, you can even say, Oh, sir, I want to download my classes. Right, probably you have used night up just to click on download buttons. When you click on download button, you see the download. Before you know what will happen, the download will start what loading. As it start loading, you can see it is moving. Tia, 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 tia. <laughs> and then it's the entire phone. Are you getting it now? You can now go and start watching your words, your downloaded classes. You can download as many classes as possible as you want to download. Now, you can even choose to say, okay, well, Sada said, no, the notes underneath it is the same thing for everything. I want to download my notes. All you have to do is click on the what the download for your notes before you know what is happening. Fia, it has entered your phone. You may choose to come to the notes, right? Under the characteristics of living things, let me open the notes and read the notes and go through the past questions. So you see, well organized and structured notes direct to the points, focusing on your syllabus for you. There are past questions for you in abundance. You see, you have your past questions here. You can choose to say, okay, I want to zoom it in, right? And then the same thing for all subjects. And you are following. The answers are there. Number one answer is B. Why is the answer B? It is explained for you in details. Every singular thing. And then you are following your classes. You Then you are done with that. You come to the next. You see your notes. Everything structured and organized to the core. In fact, at the end of the day, there is a blow kiss for you. You have done well. Get out. You do too much. Everything is structured and organized for you in the app. Right? And yeah, you can now choose to say, okay, sir, what about um, chemistry classes or physics classes? You can do same. Use of English, all of them, they are there. When you click on your chemistry classes, what happens? Separation of missions and physics. All of them are in line with your uh, jam syllabus. Chemical combination, right? It just goes straight. You see, chapter one alone has 39 videos. 39, you sit yourself down, down, and you start learning. And you are following all of them one after the word order does it make sense are you with me where you want to access your download classes all you have to do is just scroll down right on your home interface go to your access your download um classes start now you start you see them right in fact you may even choose to go and practice cbt right or pass question let's say for example i go to my cbt the one that has to do with my um um my biology then I want to take all the questions on that cell. Probably your um, YX cell or the jam question on it, right? Just to click on it. So you see, 
all the questions are there. There are 40 questions here for you already. All of them under cell. What happened? Which of the following cell inclusion can destroy other cell organelles? Probably you now say, oh, Sam, answer is like this, or some more. You choose it, you go to next like that. At the end of the day, you see your answer, see your corrections. All of these things are in the LearnLift app directly for you. Are you with me? So, as far as your jam 2025 is concerned, my dear, you don't have an excuse whatsoever to have anything less than 300. Are you with me? All your classes are available for you. All you have to do, start learning now. Download the LearnLift app now. That the first member of your Alkane series is called your Etin. Sir, I thought the first member is your Metin. No, there is nothing like Metin. Metin is carbon. Now, how do you draw it? Do you say carbon to double bond to hydrogen? No, you cannot go and link carbon to double bond to hydrogen. The simplest member is your Etin. It is carbon to double bond to carbon. Sure, you see now. Double bond must link carbon to carbon. Right, uh -huh. then yes, now hydrogen, yes, now hydrogen there. Right, yes, now hydrogen, yes, your words, hydrogen. This is the simplest member of your alkene series. Does it make sense? If you get that very fast with me, that means you have done very, very well. Bro, let's go. Answer this question for me. Jam 2015, question 50. They ask this interesting, simple question. The carbon atoms in a thin double bond are. What are they? Carbon atoms in a thing. Option A said they are sp2 hybridized. Give it to me. Give it to me, hot hot. sp2 hybridized, okay? Option B said they are sp3 hybridized. No. sp3 hybridized. You see it in your words. Your alkanes. That's your words. Your single bond. A good example. Your ethane and so on and so forth. Now, option C says your sp2d. sp2d hybridized. It's not true, right? Yeah. On that shape of orbitals. Right, that's where all those guys are treated. And then option D is SP hybridized. SP hybridized is not true. You see these guys in your words, your alkynes. Alkynes are SP hybridized. They are linear in shape, right? A good example is your words, your ethane. What is the correct answer? Your option A is the answer you are out of there. So the question is, the carbon atom in ethane are ethane double bond. What are they? SP2 hybridized. Look at another question I was asked. Jam 2009, question 50. The question says, organic molecules that have the suffix in, that's double bond, that's what it's telling us, in, are unsaturated hydrocarbons because they have option A says single bond. It's not true. Single bond is your A. Option B says double bond. Correct. Double bond is your what's your in, making sense. Option C says triple bond. Triple bond is your ion. It's not true. This guy is not true. Option D says ionic bond no 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 this guy is totally different ionic bond is totally out of the way that's under inorganic chemistry what is the correct answer here of course option what b is the simple easy and direct what answer she you see very sweet if you get this that's everything about introduction to your alkanes i'll see you in the next class and in that class we'll start by looking at the preparation of alkanes how do we prepare alkanes very quickly for the now bye Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.